Howdy, it's Anna from Autodesk Tools. In this video, I want to show you how to use the bulk upload. So you go here to your uploader, and then you click on the tab here, bulk upload. So the way you can do it is, uh, one way to do it, I'm sorry, is to take an asin, paste it here, put a comma, Take another one, Oops. and paste it here, and so on. You can make a list. Yeah, just have to make sure you have commas in between. Let's say you have a list of assets that you want to upload, then you can use it here. You can either uh, upload a CSV file or a text file. A CSV file will look like this. You have the ASCII number and then in a different um, um, column you have the email, uh, you have the title. Okay? ASCII title, ASCII title. Uh, if you delete this one then and you only upload the ASCII, it will automatically take the titles from Amazon. So that's one option. Another option is to upload a text file. And a text file, you have to put it this way, an asin, comma, and then the title. Asin, comma, title. Or you can upload just a list of asins, okay? And it will automatically take uh, the title from Amazon. Uh, once you did that, you can of course set, uh, it will take your default break-even, the additional profits, just like I explained in the single product upload. Uh, you can play with it, you can choose a template. Um, you can tell uh, the bulk uploader uh, from what price to which price you want it to upload products. Uh, you can choose the quantity, set the policies of course, um, you can tag this upload, for example, if you are uploading only add-ons, then you can write here add-ons and when you filter later on, uh, you can just filter according to uh, add-ons and then you'll see all the products that you have add-ons. It's a very, very nice feature that I explained before. And of course, again here, you can use um, these options. Uh, Enable out of stock items upload, uh, meaning that uh, you will tell the monitor to upload uh, any any products that are out of stocks on eBay. You want it to still upload them, so you tick it here. Um, always leave this add to price monitor, so it will be monitoring the price. Uh, you can choose allow Vero, not recommended. Exclude Prime. This is if you're uploading, for example, add-on products. Uh, you can tell it to uh, use upper layers uh, in the titles. So if you, for example, took titles from Amazon, like here, and they don't always, in this case they are all uppercase, but sometimes they are not, you can just ask the monitor to uh, put them all in upper letters. So you click here, you can ask it to duplicate main picture to 12, very, very useful. You can give the option for private listings for your customers. And in the future, you can tell it what to do uh, with uh, the status of in stock or out of stock. Then you click here, upload products. Now, it really depends how many products you're uploading, but the bulk upload will take a while because uh, our monitor mimics uh, manual upload, so it will upload each product uh, after every three minutes so that eBay sees that it looks very like as if a human being has done that and not a computer so it's really really good uh, and then in this screen all uploads you can see a list of the uploads you did the status finished or in progress or you know maybe it, it failed and when you click here show details you can see exactly what happened to it you see messages you know uh, what happened. For example, here you can see failed, error uploading, error eBay, 
connection to either you can see exactly what happens and you can keep uh, following to see uh, if you need to try and re-upload the product or not and that's it for the uploads see you in the next video